is Lombard dancing in freestyle. Dancing in the morning. <laughs> I don't know why. It is difficult to explain, but I believe that for the untrained eye, it looks like somebody got lost in between being a skateboarder, a surfer, and the expression of dancing. Somewhat. But instead of giving you a full explanation, witness it with your own eyes. I think I started longboarding just because I wanted to have fun with my brother with it. And mainly YouTube videos that I watched from Loaded got me really into it. I wanted to skate, but I thought it was too late. And I don't know, longboarding seemed free, it seemed nice, so that's why. I started longboarding because I saw like a downhill video and I wanted to do downhill skating. I asked my first board but I wouldn't get it because it's like expensive and shit and my parents weren't like very supportive on it. But my school grade sucked and I was like okay, we get less than uh, four like negatives, do I get the board? And they were like deal and they didn't believe in me. I fucking nailed every test and got the fucking board. I started like doing downhill and slides and stuff like little me with a helmet and like full protection on every part of my body but there were no downhill spots so eventually I stopped doing that and just started like doing tricks no complies like the old Adam and Adam uh, tutorials from Loaded and the old Loaded videos all the old OGs and Lotfi and Andrea and stuff and uh, then I started doing freestyle I guess but at the same time in my hometown all my friends were normal skateboarders when i went to skate it was like in the skate park and not like with longboarders but yeah that's how i started longboarding so when i was uh, 16 years old i started surfing and i wanted to recreate uh, the sensation of uh, sliding but i couldn't because i was living in the countryside and so i saw some videos on people going crazy and dancing and i thought it was like amazing so i was like okay so maybe it's not surfing but maybe i can have some sensation like that so i'm gonna try and so uh, i bowl on board and here i am <laughs> It was like a hazardous, you know, I, I didn't know what about what longboarding was. I started with a friend, uh, started watching videos on YouTube, and then you know, we finally decided to, to boat our first longboard, and that's how it started. And then when I was riding in some sport, I met some locals who like showed me what was longboard dancing freestyle, and that's how it started. And, and I also met a community, we called that session in Paris, and since now I'm, I'm riding, like it's been seven years ago. I was first as a kid, uh, my uncle, my favorite uncle, he was an artist and he gave me as a present a skateboard and then I played around and because of knee problems in the growing stadium I started to go more longboard and more downhill. It developed, I found at one point I started to spin and felt this feeling I never wanted to learn like this. I, I accepted that I can do it and then it, it makes like super fun because of the feeling and it's freedom pure for me because I also go a lot in the night skating and then at some points I do it blind, I close my eyes, I'm in the music and then it's crazy, I can, I'm on, on, in my only feel mode. <laughs>
come here, even the first time you come, you meet a lot of friends, so you make friends. You meet nice people and you want to come here just to meet them every year or like every time you can have contests. It's awesome just to chill. It's like you only see them a couple of times a year, but they're like good friends, so that's very nice. For everyone, this is like the place where their longboarding life starts. You find yourself in a place with like a lot of people that like do the same thing as you, have the same passion as you and are very supportive. So even though you're a beginner and very bad, they are very welcoming and you get to know a lot of people like from Germany, from France, from Brazil, from America, from Korea, from Japan, from, from everywhere all over the world and it's insane. Like the first time I, I got here, it blew my mind. I think like competing is also very motivating for some people. Uh, for me, it has been. Now it's less because I'm like focused on other things and my ankles are fucked up. Uh, <laughs> overall, it's a, it's a fucking great event that you don't want to miss out on. I, I really, I'm really excited every year to come here and you know hang out with people, just laughing with my friends and everything like that. It's only good vibes. It makes me passionate about longboarding. I don't know, I like the feeling of it when you do a good line or you have to find a good line and I mainly do it now for free beers. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it, it feels good, it's flowy, it's nice. And just, yeah, it's something nice to do with friends. That's something that draws me to it these days more than when I started. Just a nice hobby to do with friends and to hang out and to have something in common. That's uh, part of the community. It's, it's a very nice feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> For me personally, it's, it's a way of expressing freedom. For example, if I feel fucking bad and depressed and everything is going wrong in my life, there is only one thing that I can do to escape from all that bullshit. And no, it's not smoking weed, it's skating. And for me, like I step on the board and you have like the, the fucking breeze in your hair and, and, and the good stuff and you just feel free. And for example, football or any other sport, you have a goal. And the goal is to reach like the, the goal actually. <laughs> but with skating, there is like, no one has reached the limits of what is physically possible on a skateboard. So you can keep progressing, keep pushing yourself. It also mentally helps you overcome stuff and, and like realize that, that like some lessons, like you don't give up because you'll eventually get there no matter how bad things you get. Like you fuck up your ankle, you fall and break your fucking knee. If you keep trying, you'll get there. And, and for everyone that's the same. And I think like that's what makes me passionate about it because it brings a lot of life less lessons. And this, this may sound like fucking cringy, but it is a kind of lifestyle, you know? Good one. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I enjoy it every time. It's the first time that happened to me with uh, with the sport because I tried other sports before. Yeah, even if like life is tough, besides like uh, when I'm on my longboard, I everything just like uh, disappear and it's just joy, fun, and yeah. Lombard
dancing and freestyle. The essence of my movement feels me so free that I have no thoughts in me. It also goes to other persons and it's like an inspiration for others also and it's the biggest freedom because you you are on the right moment on the right place with the right mood with everything is like perfect in this when I get into the flow. Then it's like every little dust, every stone, every everything is perfect and kind and nice. hard to describe this because the feeling is so deep. I felt this I was like ashamed because it's like super personal and I open myself and others look look on that and for me it was first super personal And after a while it gets, uh, it doesn't matter because everything is good. So what is Lombok dancing and freestyle? I don't have the answer myself, but I'm sure you will find it.